tinkering around with my alarm clock. It ran out of battery, so it didn't wake me up this morning. And I was supposed to wake up early for something today, too. It was really important. What was that? Miss Tina, there you are. You missed early morning rehearsals. Right. That's it. Our big number is still in really rough shape, and the talent show is tonight! I'm sorry, Giz. My alarm didn't go off this morning. But don't worry, I'm working on a more reliable power source for it. Really? What kind? Not sure yet. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. You can just do that? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh no! My wind-up robot toy! Our wind-up robot toy. Right. Sorry. The toy is fine. Come on, everyone. There is still time to make our mid-morning rehearsals. Wait. <gasps> is he real? Oh, cool. Our favorite toy is actually a real robot. We can actually hang out and be friends with our favorite toy. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. A miracle. Did he just talk with his nose? Kind of looks that way. That is a strange method of speech. Why don't you go introduce yourself, Giz? I do not want to speak with him. He is a nose talker. It might get weird. And what about rehearsals? Our number is still missing its... Fine. Hello, I am Gizmo. Hello, I am Gizmo. No, I am Gizmo. I am Gizmo. Okay, this is weird. Is he some sort of copy bot? Ooh, ooh, me next! Hi, I'm Rig. Hi, I am Gizmo. No, say Rig. Miss Tina, why is he stuck on my name? Well, I think his name might actually be Gizmo. What? But my name is Gizmo. Ugh, we do not have time for this. We need to rehearse. But what about weird Gizmo? Widget, that's terrible. Well, we have to call him something. Two Gizmos will be way too confusing. I think we can come up with something better than that. Yes, excellent idea. We will do that. But can we please do it after the talent show? We really need to rehearse. You have already missed one, Miss Tina. Okay, okay. We'll see you soon, Gizmo. The pain of parting is nothing to the joy of meeting again. Okay. Let's go. Ready, set, go! Ah, finally. Rehearsal. Okay, shall we begin? Excuse me. Oh, how did you get in here? I need to locate Quantum Lab. You are already in Quantum Labs. This does not appear to be Quantum Lab. Well, Quantum Labs appears many different ways because of its many different divisions. Perhaps you should explore some of those while we rehearse. Affirmative. I will locate Quantum Lab on my own. Uh-huh, sure, you do that. You know what area has great acoustics? The lobby. We should rehearse in the lobby. Okay, third time is a charm. And of course. How did he get here so fast walking like that? Also, what is up with that hat? Is it a bowler hat or a sombrero? Okay, come on. Now you have a problem with his hat? Well, you do have to admit it is weird, Miss Tina. Yeah, and since there are so many weird things about him, it just makes each weird thing weirder. 
is the theory of exponential weirdness by Gears. You literally just made that up and then admitted to it. What happened? Is it something weird? It is, Rig. He appears to be frozen in time. He probably just ran out of energy. So he needs to recharge his batteries? Mid-walk? No, I don't think he uses batteries. It's probably just that crank on his back. We need to wind him up. No, batteries? Okay, that's even weirder. It is not. He's a wind-up robot. You know that. Gizmo, why don't you go help him out? I would, Miss Tina, but we are running very late for rehearsals. The talent show is starting soon, and we still have not found our missing spark. Seriously? Come on, you guys. There's always time to help a robot in need. Besides, maybe he could join our act. Help us find that missing spark. All right, Giz. She's officially snapped. I thought she was joking. She definitely wasn't joking. I like jokes. What are we going to do? He can barely talk. How is he going to sing? How are we going to convince Miss Tina? It's too late for her. We gotta go above her head. She's pretty tall. Who's above her head? Are you sure? You won't have time for this. It's the only way. I'll stall. Hurry, go, go. Ready, set, go. Professor Quantum? Gizmo! Hello, come on in. You are actually here? In person? Well, not quite, but I do have a few minutes. What can I do for you? I am not quite sure. A new robot has arrived in the lab, and he is a bit strange. Oh? I wasn't aware of any new arrivals. Well, I guess he is actually old. He was one of our favorite toys, but now he has turned into a real robot. Oh, okay. So, what's the problem? Well, he talks kind of strange. He walks kind of strange. He is kind of strange. Miss Tina wants to be nice and include him in our act for the talent show, but we do not think he will fit in. I see. How about I tell you one of my favorite parables? There was once a man who was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. On his way, he was attacked by robbers who beat him up and took all of his clothes. Oh, no! Not long after, a priest from his own country came along the same road. Ah, excellent! The priest will help him? Actually, he didn't. Instead, the priest ignored the man, even crossing to the other side of the road to avoid him. <gasps> what? That is horrible! Soon after that, another man from the same country came along but he avoided the injured man as well. No offense, Professor, but this is an awful story. Don't worry, it gets better. Do you know what a Samaritan is? A charitable or helpful person? That's how we use the word now, but a Samaritan was a person from the region of Samaria back in Bible times. And the Samaritans and the Jewish people did not get along at all. Why not? They were different, and both sides looked down on each other because of it. Each group of people thought their group was better. Were they? Well, you tell me. When a Samaritan man came along, he saw the Jewish man and had compassion on him. He immediately jumped to help the man, bandaging his wounds, letting him ride on his own donkey, and taking him to an inn where he could be cared for. And the Samaritan man paid for it all himself. So the Samaritan man helped the Jewish man even though he was different? Well, he was different, but only in ways that really didn't matter. The Samaritan man knew the Jewish man was another human being in need of help. So he helped. So we are supposed to love everyone, no matter how different they may be. Exactly. So tell me, just how different is this new old robot? Oh, well, he actually used to be our wind-up robot toy. See? Oh, wow! It's Gizmo! What? You know him? Of course. He was one of my earliest creations. An early prototype of you, in fact. So it is true? I am not the only Gizmo? Well, no, but I hope that doesn't bother you. I love all my creations just the same. You do? Of course. An inventor always holds a special place in their heart for each of their creations, no matter how different. Thank you, Professor Quantum. Of course, Gizmo. Oh, the talent show's about ready to start. You better get down there, Gizmo. What about you? Are you not hosting the show this year? I am. 
and I need to get out on stage. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the annual Quantum Labs Talent Show. We've got a record number of acts this year, so we're gonna jump right in. First up, Cubit and his amazing impersonations. Where is Gizmo? We're on next. I'm sure he'll be here soon. If he doesn't show up after all these mandatory rehearsals. Ahem. <clears throat> Gizmo! Where were you? I had to pick up the newest member of our act. Hello, friends. What? Gizmo? Are you sure about this? We were wrong to treat this Gizmo differently. Just because he is a bit different from us, Professor Quantum made him. And if he made all of us, well, we may not be so different after all. Widget, could you please pull up Romans 15, 7? The Bible says, therefore, accept each other just as Christ has accepted you so that God will be given glory. That's great, Gizmo. I am sorry for how we acted. You can be our friend and even join our act. Thank you, Gizmo. Wait, you want to add another member to your group now? Oh, okay, what's the name? Well, I suppose his name is Gizmo. That's gonna get confusing. Well, since he's a bit older, maybe we should call him Mr. Gizmo. That's great! That's great. Oh, I need a vacation. Give me quantum! Thank you, Cubit. I didn't think I looked exactly like that, but I appreciate the thought. Next up, our very own robotics division with a special guest. Enjoy. Are you ready? One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and away I go. Oh, boy. All people together. There's the one. on movie nights, only three more to go until Ion's return. Sorry I am late. We're the others. Miss Tina's making the popcorn. And Rick? I don't know, haven't seen him for a while. Hey guys. 
Hey, Rig. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Why? Oh, I guess you noticed. I'm not wearing my Protonatron costume tonight. It was starting to get a little uncomfortable. Ah, uh, that explains it. Um, I have to go help Miss Tina with the popcorn. Um, me too. Me three. <laughs> I love popcorn. Hey guys, what's up? Something's happened to Rig. He is orange now. Huh. I wonder why. You don't find this the least bit concerning? There is a strange orange robot sitting in the theater waiting to watch a movie with us! He's not a strange robot. He's Rig. But he's different now. He might look different, but he's still our friend. We should always love Rig, no matter what he looks like. The popcorn's taking a while. Do you need more help? What's going on? We were just a little concerned about your new orange complexion. It is a bit different from what we are used to. But Miss Tina reminded us that you are still you, and we can love you no matter what. Orange? Uh-oh, this is my new wax treatment. Baby, I'm allergic. I think you're just supposed to remove it after you're done. Oh, that's better. Ready, set, go! All right, everyone. Tomorrow is Miss Tina's birthday. And since it is her first one celebrating with us at Quantum Labs, we have to make it memorable. We should get her a really special gift. That is exactly what I was thinking, Widget. We could all surprise her by cleaning and detailing her car. Okay, but that's not really a gift, Gizmo. We should get her a gift. Gears, what's a really cool Protonatron thing that she doesn't have yet? Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Widget, cleaning her car would be a wonderful gift. A gift is a thing. We have to get her a thing. We would be getting her a clean car. But she already has a car. We would be getting her the clean. The Protona car! Wait, no. She probably already has that. Widget, Miss Tina would love it if we cleaned her car. End of story. But it's just going to get dirty again. You said this birthday was supposed to be memorable. How is she going to remember a so-called gift that disappears? Uh, guys? Widget, we are cleaning her car. No, we are buying her a... a something. Guys! What? Oh, hi, Miss Tina. I would ask what all this is about, but I think I have an idea. We wanted to make your first birthday at Quantum Lab special, so we were arguing about what to get for you. Or rather, what to do for you. Or get for you. Well, that's really sweet, guys, but I really just want to spend time with you. Really? Yes. Quality time is my biggest love language. It's the thing I love most that people give me. Are you sure? Everyone's is different, Giz. Yours is acts of service, which is why you want to clean my car. Riggs is physical touch. <laughs> Gears is words of affirmation. It is? Is that good? It's good, right? Somebody tell me that's good! And Widgets is gifts. That's why you wanted to give me an actual thing. Oh. Everyone has different love languages and to different degrees. Ways they like to be loved and ways they like to love others. All of them are great, but sometimes, if you really want to love your friends in the best ways, you have to love them in their best ways. It's just another way we're all different. Five, a special number. Five fingers and toes and senses you can feel. We feel love, back. love, like sunny summer. Five different ways that love shows its appeal. Affirmation, quality time, some service and physical touch. Personal language for each boy and girl. Love, love, a 
celebration of all the ways God made us in the world. Well, if spending time with you will make it memorable. Oh, I definitely won't forget this. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Hello, Gears. Are you okay? Better than okay. Miss Tina is bringing in her Protona Tron collection today. Do you not have the same collection? She has three figures I don't have. Yet. But I'm just excited to see them in person. All right. Here they are. Cool. Are you going to open them? Oh, no. I keep my collection in the boxes. Right, but these are the shipping boxes. You can't even see the actual box. Yeah. And your whole collection is like this? Yep. I call it extra mint condition. But you can't see them. How do you even know they're in there? I just never thought about that. Okay. Well, thanks for bringing those in. Is everything okay, Gears? You left a little suddenly. I just don't get it. How could she leave them in the boxes? The shipping boxes! I'm not even sure she's a real Protonatron fan. Of course she is, Gears. You both just express your fandom in different ways. Sometimes people do things differently, even when they are doing the same thing. That's just so... strange. But I guess it makes sense. She probably thinks you are crazy for opening yours. Ha! Yeah, I guess we're both crazy. Now there is something we can all agree on. Ready, set, go! Look how far you've come, Widget. You used to be scared of people coming through that door. And now you're on the official welcoming committee. Thanks for reminding me. I'm still nervous, Gears. It's fine, Widget. I've got your back. Hello, dude. Hello, Ollie. Welcome to Quantum Labs. Okay, we tried. Gears! We can't just leave. We're the welcoming committee. Widget, how do they talk? It looks like they talk with their hands. And do you have hands? Well, no. But you do. Yeah, but I don't know how to talk with them. I was given this golden voice for a reason, Widget. They have to be welcomed, Gears. Don't worry. Somebody else will handle it. Give me one second. Miss Tina, I need to learn how to talk with my hands. And how to have hands. Okay, and why is that? The two new bots I'm supposed to welcome only talk with their hands. And I'm not going to give up on being their friend. That's great, Widget. It's actually called sign language. I can't do it myself, but I have a friend who does. Can we call her real quick? Absolutely. Hi, Tina. Hey, Emma. My friend Widget needs help talking to some new robots here at Quantum Labs. Can you help? Well, I think she talks fine. The new robot speaks sign language. Oh, I see. Well, this is how you say, welcome to Quantum Labs. My name is Widget. <laughs> That's perfect. Can you show me more words? Just a bunch in a row, real quick. Sure. Welcome to Quantum Labs. I'm Widget. Sorry for the delay. Widget, you learned how to sign? Yep. Ollie says thank you and that he likes your light bulb. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I like your wheels. Ready, set, go! Anytime you fall down, I will be your good neighbor. Anytime you fall down, I will be your good neighbor too. Well, I know it didn't go quite like you planned, Gizmo, but that number did turn out pretty amazing. It really did. I am so embarrassed we almost did not let Mr. Gizmo join us. He is very different from us, but that difference made our act much better. I honestly think his voice is what won the competition. 
Is that why you let him carry the trophy? Assistance required. Oh boy. Assistance required. Oh boy. I am okay. Well, it was pretty heavy. So now it's your turn to go and accept others, just like God has accepted you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Ready, set, go. Subscribe to our Gizmo Go YouTube channel for more exciting Gizmo Go videos. Download the Superbook app now at gizmogo.cbn. Superbook Bible app. It's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh, no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy-to-understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta-da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. Now you got it. Mr. Gizmo, let's grow dimension. Together we grow so on with the show. Together we grow so on with the show. Together we grow so on with the show. Quantum Lab.